All right, this question can be a bit tricky for some people sometimes because they look and they're not sure how to factor this. The first thing you always want to do in factoring is look for a common factor, which indeed we have here. What goes into 20 that goes into 125? The answer is 5. So we can factor out a 5 from here. What did I do? I just divided. What's 20 divided by 5? 4 x squared. I'll do the same here, leave that minus. What's 125 divided by 5? 25 y squared. Now we don't really have a good factoring algorithm in general that does x squared and a y squared, but we do have this concept called difference of squares. That is to say, when you have a square, that's this, take away a square, everything a square in both terms, you can use a little formula. So let's check. Is 4 a square? You bet. 2 times 2. x squared is obviously squared. y squared is obviously squared. And 25 is a square as well. Our difference of squares pattern says you can solve any square minus a square by putting a plus and a minus, doesn't matter which one goes first, and square rooting each term. That is to say, what's the square root of 4? 2. Put a 2 in both sides. What's the square root of x squared? What times what makes x squared? x. In other words, 4x squared is made up of 2x and 2x. Let's do the same to 25y squared. What's the square root of 25? 5. What's the square root of y squared? Y. And that is actually your answer. You're done. If you don't believe me, you can check. How do you check? Expand it. Rainbow it back. What's 2x? We'll start with 2x times 2x. You get 4x squared. That's the first thing we do with this rainbow or foil. 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times positive 5y gives 10. And then this x, and then this y. Let's do the same with each of the other terms. Negative 5y times 2x, and negative 5y times positive 5y. All right, negative 5y times 2x, negative 10. That's 5 times 2, negative 5 times 2. You've got an x, and you got a y. And let's look at negative 5y times 5y. Negative 5 times positive 5 is negative 25. y times y, y squared. And we get 5 times 4x squared. But look at this beautiful thing. These cancel. That's the whole idea behind difference of squares. We know this pattern ahead of time. So we can do this simplification easily knowing that these numbers, if expanded, the middle terms would cancel out and you'd be left with just the front term and the back term, which of course means if we rainbow this 5 in, 5 times 4x squared, 5 times negative 25, we've got the question back. That's difference of squares.